Second okay. report. Well, last night we got a pretty big update on the uh, mosh pipe scenario. So we are decided to pursue, instead of seeking the court for a special town meeting, we're going to seek the legislator. You mean the general court? The general court. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to we're going to seek the legislative body. Um, this has been done, I guess, three times in the past in New Hampshire. And this will drastically condense the time frame for the town meeting. So instead of having to wait all the way until November, which we wouldn't be able to do any type of work this year, this would give us a date of occur on or before August 28th, 2018. So the legislative session, um, they close, I think, the 24th. So we made the motion of May. the 24th of May. So this is going to be pretty quick, hopefully. We'll, I think they were working on trying to get it in today. Uh, it's going to go to the Senate. We can thank the New Hampshire Senate for, uh, you know, doing this for us. And I believe our former senator had a huge deal to do with it, too. So we will see and wait for that. Town management, a few weeks ago, we had given a majority vote to, you know, town management was going to be extremely proactive in talking with all the state departments, environmental services, DOT, as far as getting permits and all that fun stuff. So they have done that over time and it's worked out really well. I believe DRA is actually the ones that recommended us to pursue this legislative process. So I guess we're just waiting for, hopefully they can get the bill in. It will pass through both bodies and we will be able to have a town meeting. But as far as the dates go right now, I'm not sure what they're gonna look like for the for the hearings for us and for the town, so. Anything else? I don't think so. Do you guys have any questions on what's going on? That's what I was going to ask you, anybody? Questions? Brian, Mr. Lavum? Mr. Mm -hmm. Bluff? No, I, I think you're headed the right direction. Mm -hmm. It's just... And the state, you know, yeah, worked well. They, they really helped us out. Yeah. So we worked together and that's the way it should be if you ask me. I think right. that it's not just the town that's at stake here. No, no. Lots of millions of dollars are at stake. So I'm really excited. I'm glad that it seems like we're making some progress. So hopefully we'll... Uh... Mr. Walburton. I think uh, excellent meeting last night. Um, but I think it's like when Waddell alluded to about the, you know communicating the correct information how needy this is to have the pipe it's very needy. so the questions that are going to be asked and I think we need to start now I mean we talk about a special town meeting do we go through the same this is a, a hypothetical do we go through the, through the same process deliberative session a, a public hearing deliberative session an actual vote mm -hmm. you know an actual like a voting day the reason that's critical, August 28th, by the way, happens to be a Tuesday. I can't imagine we'd have a special town meeting on a Tuesday. But we are we going to be required to have the three-fifths since it's going to be a bond. Mm. So, th and that's all important because even though a lot of people are around in the summer, a lot of people aren't around. So right. I'm all for it. I mean, I, I think, and I like the, the caveat of the plastic pipe, the, the surface pipe that you're going to put in. That's very important because... Sure. And that's, if that's the only backup we have for the summer of 18, really. And if my understanding through conversations last night, within 11 days, we would commence with putting that surface pipe in? Because yes, the state gonna... is not going to, June and July, I'd be surprised if there's going to be, you know, any sort of construction. But would it, we get going on this? Town management is, I asked the question, and I said by the first week in June, and they said yes, probably right. before that. So. They were thinking 11, 12 days, but if you know 11, 12 days in the middle of the summer, it might as well be 11 months. Right. So if we can get it done before June and before everyone starts getting here, it will be a very good idea. My only question was, excuse me. No, go ahead. Um, was when we were going to vote on having the meeting, if we were going to have a special meeting, well, we're gonna we are gonna have a special town meeting, but we don't we're not sure about the dates. There is gonna be a okay. deliberative session, but I think it's condensed, so we don't have to wait. Is it? What's the time point usually have to be between deliberative session and actual voting day? Twenty two days. Yeah. It's usually like yeah. a yeah. It can be month. so we can have the deliberative session. We're shooting probably for the Saturday, like we always do. So whatever that Saturday is before the twenty eighth, and then we can immediately have 
the next Saturday mm -hmm. have the vote, or whatever day, I guess, is decided well, on. I think that you really pointed out something great last night, and that's where the public needs to feel comfortable. The surface pipe is what we need right now. We know if with special town meeting approves getting rid of what you've referred to, I mean, these all right. awful pipes, that's not going to be done right away. So as long as everybody's assured that that surface pipe is actually going to do pretty well, that new plastic they're using, and that word gets out. Because, you know, some people may say, oh, geez, if the town meeting doesn't, and hypothetically, right, so let's say things got disapproved or, or, or put off, we're still going to have that surface pipe. So the public needs to understand that that's a great move, what you did last night, because I think that's going to well, carry that, us. Well, that has to cover us everything. Right? That's correct. But at least for the summer months, it's going to carry us forward. And, and so great discussion. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the next steps, because I think we as a budget committee, certainly as, as people who prepare and assist in, in giving budgets to the to voters on a yearly basis now are going to be in a position really should be a proponent of this 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 is absolutely necessary and uh, so good good job yeah just we're just here watching the next step so good luck yeah right. I mean I think really the reason why it got done so well is because it was sort of done you know I want to say not not officially but you know it was just everyone communicated with each other you right, know right. Moved it like along. all the you know it yeah. wasn't like a legal thing it was just you know this is what you want us to do this we want to do this how can we get the vote so that the voters can say i mean they have to say yes and i mean oh, i'm going to do my best to sell it yeah. and yeah. i hope that you know a lot of people will help me do that but good frank Thank any you. questions on the selectman's report statement comment no comments no okay stand. Brian, Mr. Lapham. Um, the only question I had from last night's meeting was the um, the piping. Um, one is insulated, one is not. Well, no, what the question was, because the uh, auxiliary pipe, so the temporary pipe right. that we're going to put up this year, what we're being told right now is it's going to have to come down in the winter because right. it's not going to be insulated. So Chairman Bridal asked the question of whether or not it would be possible right, to get right. that pipe insulated. And I think that's probably what Jamie and Fred are working on today. Yeah, but apparently they didn't think they, that could happen. Yeah, it doesn't, because they, they told us from the beginning that if we had that auxiliary pipe down, that it would freeze and it would have to no, come down. Because it doesn't know. pump all the time. It only right. pumps and then it shuts off. So we it will freeze. We know need to the cost of that if you... Uh, when you guys are going yeah, I mean, through it all. The way I look at it is the ideal situation is they'll start with the auxiliary pipe, you know, hopefully yeah. by the end of this month. It won't be insulated. We'll put it up and it will be the back. Oh, well, I guess we'll actually probably use it because we don't want to use that pipe unless we have to. So we'll have the auxiliary pipe and then the older pipe that's under there still. And then... I mean, I don't know if the, we can probably start construction, I guess, after the vote goes through, maybe this fall, ideally, yeah. and then finish up in the spring. So that at least in 19, hopefully we'll have everything. If the voters say yes, we'll have everything ready to go for the summer of 19. Okay. Thank you. I uh, had a conversation with uh, Jamie this afternoon on, on this topic, and we also discussed uh, this at our meeting with the town management that we had a couple of months ago. Um, <clears throat> and what I got from Jamie was the parameters of the legislation, which means there will be a public hearing. There will be session one. Yeah, exactly. Also called deliver session. Right. There will be a session two, also called the election, which is normally held on Tuesday anyway, so it ought to be Well, on that's Tuesday, true. Yeah. yeah. And, and the dates will not be condensed in the sense of There'll be the 28 days, the eight days we call prior to that session one. There'll be public hearing by the budget committee. Um, what is being condensed, or proceeds proceed to be condensed, is not to have to go through your traditional court docket to get on the docket and get heard, right? Because you're going directly to the general court, the legislature, the legislature. Yeah. Uh, and, and they can make up whatever rule they want to. Um, I assume they won't change the basic rule, which is uh, three-fifths majority required, I assume they won't change, and, and Jamie said the parameter, Jamie told me anyway, the parameters of the legislation they seek includes the public hearing, includes session one, yeah, includes session I two. I believe that. I, okay. Uh, I think it'll be a hard sell politically for them to do otherwise, and I think it'd be a hard sell for them 
up to the Senate, up to the State House, to not include the three fifths as normal operating procedure. Well, if you go the bond route, you're required to. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's and, not and there is there is the bond route. I also I talked to him about. Um, suggested to him and he thought it might be worth ex further exploration. We have somewhere between six and seven million dollars on the unassigned fund balance, so-called surplus. Uh, and I suggested that I'd probably use like maybe two million or slightly more to reduce the bond requirement, thus reduce the resistance to the article itself. Okay, it will really enhance the ability to get that thing passed. Right? And it will also reduce the burden of tax that the bond will produce, because this will be substantial, and then we're looking at something on the order of five to six million dollars. I understand, certainly no less than four. Um, so it's a substantial bond, not the biggest we've ever seen. No, but, you know, no. we're already we're now paying the biggest we've ever seen, right. and to add on top of that, right. people are already sensitive. I'm getting, I'm getting notices in my mailbox, I don't know if you guys did, about from realtors telling me that with skyrocketing taxes, now might be the best time to sell. <laughs> that wasn't my word, that was you know, Preston Real Estate's word. <laughs> we got the same one. Did you? Yeah. So, I mean, this is just going to add to that burden. Um, and so, if we actually use some of the unassigned ba fund balance and still be comfortable with the remainder in there, uh, I think it would go a long way to, a, you know, um, limiting the resistance to the article. I think everyone agrees that we need to do the work, right? I don't think there's any question about that. Question of, you know, how do we fund it, and the timing of that funding is the only thing that's really been subject to discussion, as far as I can tell. From, and I know a lot of people that they say is on a lot of things. And that's all I hear in terms of problems is hmm. it's probably we have it's probable some some people actually say that you wouldn't expect it to say we definitely need to replace it. But I've never heard anyone say we're not gonna have to replace it. I have heard concerns about the timing and the means by which we fund it. Right? I think if we use some of that unassigned fund balance it'll swage a lot of of that resistance. And so uh, that would be my thoughts on that. Um, I think that's about all Jamie and I talked about other than the usual fun chatter that two men have between each other when they talk privately in the hallway. 